ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies. Ladies and gents. Many are going to find this particular production a little disturbing. Born to be alive. Ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen and ladies. Ladies and gentlemen. Born to be alive. We're going to turn down Mr. Patrick Hernandez. That's right, I said Hernandez. Not a Hernandez. Hernandez. We're going to turn down Mr. Patrick Hernandez and his born to be alive. Ladies and gentlemen, I got something I want to show y'all. Y'all don't mind? I just got a... Yeah, that's not the that's not the one that I need to show y'all. The one I need to show you is right here. Have a definition. I just opened the same one. I was apologize. It's not, that's not what I'm trying to open up. I am trying to... Give me a second. Right here. This is the one I'm trying to open up. Ladies and gentlemen, doctors must stimulate babies to start them breathing on their own. Did you know that all babies are born dead? Say what? All babies are born dead. No. Really? So why does a doctor have to simulate a baby by rubbing their feet, their tummies? You know, they, they used to slap them on the buttocks. Um, you know because that's what doctors did. They don't do that anymore, but they used to do that. They don't do that, nope, they don't do that, no mas. But remember, a baby cannot breathe on its own outside the womb unless breathing is simulated and stimulated. Stimulated? What about simulated? They simulate breathing? That's the whole point. When babies are born, their mother is breathing for them. Pay attention, umbilical cord. When the umbilical cord is cut, that baby is not alive. That's why it's not moving. Go ahead. And what do the doctors do? They stimulate, simulate, stimulate, simulate the breathing of the baby. Now look, all of you know this. Every single one of you know this. The baby has to breathe, pay attention, on its own. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Tex Mason. I got to take this call, okay? All right, one sec. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was Mr. Tex Mason. And he and I have been talking for about the last hour. So... That's why you all had to wait, <laughs> okay? No, he has a long-standing order that he can call me anytime, and I will, if I can, drop what I'm doing to give him my attention. So that was Mr. Tex Mason. Back to the conversation, ladies and gentlemen. When a baby is born, pay attention. It is born breathing through its mother's help and aid. It is not breathing on its own. So the baby technically is dead. Why? Because it is not moving. Go ahead and look at what doctors say about newborn babies. Some of you guys have actually seen them. So it is not breathing on its own. It's not moving on its own. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, this one says the mother's having labor contractions. That's not the baby. That's the process. Say so what? That's the process why the mother has to push. The baby's not pulling itself out of the womb. See, the labor contractions temporarily constrict umbilical blood vessels. So the baby ends up not breathing when it is born. Wait, 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 wait. Some of you guys are not getting it. You think I'm being too technical. Hold on. Let me show you. This is clinical death. It's a medical term for the cessation of blood circulation and breathing. Excuse me? Did, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Labor contractions. 
temporarily constrict them biblical blah, 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 biblical cord blood vessels constrict them wait a minute how does it affect breathing long-term help with breathing okay when a child is born it's breathing through its mother it's not breathing on its own that's why the umbilical cord is cut now the child is really not breathing so they simulate it simulate it no stimulate it by touching the feet tickling it that type of thing to get it to move on its own so ladies and gentlemen clinical death is where the cessation of blood circulation and breathing occurs definition of death brain death nobody asked you about brain death stand this standard defines as the death of the entire brain of a person nobody's talking about brain death you ignorant mother anyway end of life cessation of life these common definitions of death ultimately depend upon the definition of life let's go here this is medicine.net medicine.who medicine.net medicine.what anyway the end of life cessation of life these common definitions of death ultimately depend upon definition of life upon which there is no consensus the permanent sensation of all vital bodily functions definition depends on the definition of bodily functions see vital bodily functions common law standards for determining death is the cessation of all vital functions traditionally demonstrated by an absence of spontaneous respiratory and cardiac functions the baby is born dead I hope this makes sense to some of you that being the case now that you understand this that is why the Social Security Act requires you to go to the Social Security Administration and say hey hey excuse me excuse me excuse me Hey, 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 yeah, you, behind that desk, Social Security, uh-uh, y'all ain't doing this to me, I was born alive. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why they require you to tell them that you were alive. It says that they have to prove it, but you prove it. You say, hey, I'm alive. I ain't dead. I wasn't born dead. I was born alive. See, it's called a certificate of live birth. It's just a certificate. It's not proof of live birth. It's just a certificate. That's why you remain dead for seven years. Why? Because you never correct the record. They know that every child is born dead. They know this. Because they know this, ladies and gentlemen, they realize that you must know it too. But you act like you don't. All right, gotta go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that everything continues to go well with you. There is a lot of information to talk about, but I just don't have the time. Uh, all of this thinking, and it is a lot of thinking, has got me tired. Tired, I tell you. And I was tired, y'all. So eyes, 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 the eyes have it. Ladies and gentlemen, what I was about to go do, I'm about to go shut this video off and I'm about to go lay my butt down. All right? That's what I's gonna do. So we'll speak to y'all soon. Hey, have a cook and a smile. See y'all in somebody else's while. Goodbye.